G'day folks. In this video I'm building a rocket water heater for my aquaponics fish tank and I thought I'd bring you along, give you a look, um, see what you reckon. Alright folks, I'm going to get started. I'll run the video so you can see how it's made and what's actually happening. Um, a rocket heater is a heater and um, exchange heat box. G'day folks, hope everyone is going well and staying safe. Um, this video I'm going to build myself a rocket heater boiler to keep my fish tanks warm. Um, what I'm going to use is a gas cylinder, just a normal gas cylinder. Um, two lengths of 100 millimeter square pipe. Uh, they're about a meter long. I got them off of Facebook. It uh, cost me 20 bucks. So I'm going to use them as the firebox and wood feeder um, for my rocket heater. Just cut these bits of pipe to make my rocket heater. Um, so what I've done is I've marked it out where I'm going to cut it. This first bit of pipe is marked out on a 45 degree angle. And the other bit of pipe is also marked on a 45 degree angle. So when I cut it I can weld a L shaped um, bit of steel. Um, this piece of pipe is measured from here back 16 uh, 16 inches I think it was I'll put it up here if I'm wrong I think it's 16 inches I will cut it off there that end bit of pipe that I've cut off will be cut on an angle and sat here for the wood feeder um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all these up and then show you it all cut and how it all sits Okay, I've finished cutting all my bits for my rocket stove boiler. Um, three parts of the rocket stove. You've got your base or your firebox. You've got your wood feeder to feed into your firebox. And you've got your smokestack that goes up into your gas cylinder. So what I've done is I've cut two bits at um, 19 inches and cut it so L shape from your smoke stack to your um, smoke stack to your thing. This one here at the moment is 38 inches long but it will be cut shorter to suit that gas bottle. So at the moment it's 38 inches. This one's 19 inches to the longest cut so 19 inches long and then cut your um, I think it's 45 back to get your L shape and then what I did is I made up a then what I did is I made up a template of the other 19 inch long piece um, I made up a template and worked that out to the 45 degree angle and then worked down there to figure out what angle I'd like to um for the wood feeder to be on so I measured from the bottom of the cut up 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 so it was like that like that I measured up here um, three centimeters draw a line to the point and that's what I used to cut my wood feeder for my rocket stove. So that's basically the rocket stove is three parts and that's the start of my boiler or wood um, fired water heater. Okay I've got my rocket stove or heater, rocket heater. It'll be a water heater by the time I finish um, working. So that's all working. I put 
two little twigs in. So there's two twigs down in the bottom there burning. Quite good. Firebox seems to be working well. Seems to be working really good. Uh, temperature wise, let's check it out. Uh, temperature wise, those two little twigs I put in, 300 and let's say 370, it's probably more but getting up 400, 300, all right, I'll say 370, as we go along, Heat ex the exhaust 100 and 180 and starts cooling off to 90. So that's working quite well. There are now at the 200 of those little tweaks. There was only two little tiny bits of wood that I've put in. So 200 going up there. Firebox is 370. So my rocket heater is working well. As you can see, no smoke. No smoke at all. Of it. I'll probably do the same to the top while I'm at it. So my next stage from here will be so what I gotta do now is cut a square a square out of here. Something like that. Sort of square out of there to fit the heat exchange into there. So I'll get all that measured up and go from there. I'll get that measured and cut and um, get back to you. Well, okay, I've cut the base for the heater. Um, cut out the square bit for it to go down. I'm leaving just a little bit on here so I can cut out of there and it'll be easier to line up on the box. Um, this is all got to come down so that comes down and that goes up. Um, I'll weld these two bits on first and then I'll level it off and I'll weld this on so it's not moving. That's where I am for today. Okay, welded up everything on the burner side of it. So we have our wood feeder, firebox on the bottom and our exchange heat riser. Now I've got some coiled stainless steel pipe um, do not use copper or any of the other metals due to it will leach into the water of your um, fish tank and stuff and it will eventually kill your fish stainless steel um, is the best way to go it won't leach into your water um, and it's safe to use so I've got a piece of stainless steel there which is about I think a three meter length has been coiled and it's not tightly coiled but it's coiled around the um, riser to get the heat off the riser so what I'm going to do now is I need to cut a hole for my um, smokestack so I have marked this off um, right there 
that's marked it off there so I'm going to cut that out and organize for my smokestack to go in there and then I got to work out where my two holes are going to go in this that piece for the two pipes to fit through so that's what I'm up to doing um, so I'm going to cut the hole out of there and I'll get back to you when I finish doing that Okay, I've welded my chimney on for my smoke to come out. Um, drilled a couple of holes in the side of it for my water pipe to go through. Um, don't forget it's stainless steel. I wouldn't use anything else. So what I've got to do now is bend that over and fit it into the center. And I can sit that piece back on top my firebox and weld some nuts and bolts on the bottom so it ties itself down to the bottom bit and then organize the top of it and I should be just about done for a trial so what I'm going to do now is organize okay got the smoke pipe welded in and finished the cylinder sitting back on the firebox um, what I'm going to do down here is this will sit under here so in between those lines underneath there will be holes cut the angle grinder underneath that will sit under there um, that side will be blocked off and all the ash will fall down into the ash catcher which will be this so I can take the ash out that will be where that's going and it'll also steady it up as well um, as for the pipe like I said stainless steel pipe it's just wrapped around the riser of the heat exchanger that's the way it looks comes out the side to there um, I use 3 8 stainless steel pipe only because it's cheaper than getting half inch um, what I've got is a couple of adapters so these adapters will go on to here like that and I can put my pipe onto there to go to the fish tanks so that's the way that looks um, as for the lid and locking everything down I'll be using these these are um, like clips so the clips are set on there to lock it down so that's my next job now is to lock all that down I'm also going to put some um, I've got to find some I've got to get on the internet and find some is some um, what they use on stoves and sealants for that for doors and that on wood heaters and that I'm going to get some of that to put around this edge so when I put the lid down and lock it down it seals it um, I did go for a look around this town but I can't find any at the moment I've got to keep hunting so the first trick to do today is put the clips on so it all clips down so I'll get back to you after I've got my clips on and see where we go from there okay what I've done is I've put on my clips so I've got all these clips on three on the top three on the bottom to hold the cylinder down I've welded in some lugs in here this stuff here is um, what they use on wood stoves um, wood stoves uh, doors and that to seal the doors when they close so that's what I'm using to seal um, my top and bottom that's all finished I've finished the bottom of my heater with the clips on I've welded some lugs in to hold the um, sealant in there I can't remember what it's called cord um, for it so that's all done um, my next two jobs will be a couple of holes in the bottom plate for air to go through 
and also put my ash box this is what I'll be using for my ash box which will sit there underneath I'll cut this off so that line there I'll cut across there that will go under there for my ash box I'll roll a plate on the back of here and that will be the ash box for underneath underneath here there will be a series of holes with the angle grinder to let the ash go into the ash box so that's where I'm up to the ash box I'll do that and um, when I've finished I'll get back to you and show you how that's going as well okay I've cut and welded on my firebox or not firebox my ash box um, I've cut the slits inside I don't know if you can see in there those slits I gotta grind them off a bit so I've cut all the slits in there ash falls down into the ash box which is down there so that's all finished what I've got to do now is put a couple of holes in here and I can put it all together and give it a test run uh, give it a test run and see if I've missed anything and see what it's like so I shall draw those holes out there these holes are for extra air to get in when I've got this closed it's for the air to get in to get the draw to draw back up into that cylinder so I'll do that and we'll start putting it back together okay done all back together heat exchange inside firebox I've lit it up I've filled the stainless steel pipe up with water to wash it out and I've lit it up just to see how it's going don't know whether you can see steam coming out of there so it's working well fires working good in there so I'll do a full video on how this works setting it up for my fish tank and all that so folks if you like what I'm doing hit that subscribe button and hit that bell and YouTube will let you know when I do another video uh, my next video will be hooking all this up and getting it going from my fish tank um, to see how much warm water I'm going to get in there for them and how much difference it's going to make so I hope everyone is having a good day um, any questions comments put them down in the comments section and I'll get back to you okay folks have a nice day we shall catch you later